Hi there, it's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. Hello and welcome back. So this is part five in the junk mail uh, journal uh, series that I'm uh, following along with Izzy B. So Izzy's uh, links will be in the description. And the kit I'm using is a beautiful kit from Pink Monet Prints. It's called uh, Flea Market. So I've got some pages uh, well, I've got lots of pages, <laughs> uh, but these are some of them what was left uh, from the original um, putting the first layer on. So these ones are actually new, um, newsprint. So I've got my pile of stuff. Uh, these are the stuff out there kit. There's no um, actual like decorating ephemera in in the kit. There's uh, tags of different sizes. We've got these book plates, what I thought would probably be good as uh, pockets or, um, I mean, this first page, it won't even fit one on because mine's with quite small um, envelopes. I'm going to start saving uh, some bigger envelopes and, and do this again. So anyway, we've got um, these and then we've got some... Uh, words they're from the kit and we've got some pockets from the kit um i've got my tim Oates words out i'm not sure what else i'm gonna gonna need um because like izzy i'm gonna be doing mine in you know a nature uh theme so it's gonna be birds butterflies and <coughs> and botanicals um and i think on some of them it is gonna be whatever whatever fits um so we're going to do the first page today and the journal card and um i fancy putting a pocket on here um with not having too much room so just have a look through because they fit um just right so i could do with something that's got a bit of blue in that goes nice with that Oh, I've got some blue butterflies here. So I'll leave those two out. And then <clears throat> we could just put, um, ooh, can't get hold of it, a, um, a small tag from from the kit in it. And that would, would that fit in nice? Yes, it wouldn't, it wouldn't poke out. So we could perhaps have two tags um, in there. I don't know if there's another... Uh, bluish one don't think I've actually printed out all the I like that um all the tags I think there was some what I'd got the eyelets in and um I think there was like different variations of so I'll keep those two out <coughs> and we'll keep those two pockets out or like I've just said we could could have one of those as a pocket and that would just fit fit one tag quite like that as well I preferred that one so I'll keep keep that out as well so I'm going to think what <coughs> what to do um, on there because I've not got an awful lot of space. So I'm going to take that out. This is going to be the back of my tag because uh, I did all mine on, on packaging. So I'm going to cover uh, the front of that. So let's let's have a look what we've, we've got. Um, I had to put my beds into <laughs> size size order so that was probably a good idea so we have got a bird on the front haven't we so i think it'd be nice to open it up and, and have another bird inside oh that's a nice one from his branches got all um that's it maybe that's a little bit too too small Mm. 
Mm, it's a bit non nondescript really. Now that pops a bit better, doesn't it? That J. Yeah, maybe these are a little bit too too small on this big one. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. There. Yeah, I do like that. I don't think this page needs needs a lot more on it to be to be honest. Um gonna put the birds birds over there so let's get some of this paper um in I'll use that one it's a bit it's a bit greener isn't it that's um not noticed that before that some of them was more green uh, than than a blue got the same uh, paper there. What some of this striped look like? I think there's a blue stripe somewhere. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that. I like this. I like it all. It's a it's a beautiful cat. Very, very soft, soft colours. Right. So I really want something um, blue. So I'm thinking I might go, go for this section here. Let's tear some of it. Down and then we can see see from there and I also like that section there where's the book gone I've just buried it <laughs> I just buried it under, under all that paper oh my goodness me I feel like my desk is um just coming in on me. I'm quite liking Yeah, I'm gonna say I've really not got a lot of room to, to play with. Take it down a little bit. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to stick stick that down. I'm going to use the the art glitter. Oh, I would if it came out a bit faster. Let's give it. So 
I'll just put that strip over there. Okay, so that's down. So let's go back to the birds. I think I'm liking that. I don't think it needs um, any more bluing. So I'm going to... idea was this one no I prefer that one so let's just get some ink out and ink around so I think now um, because the book's actually made up um, and obviously I've, I've followed <coughs> um, Izzy's tutorial I'm not sure you know if she's going to be putting one a week up or a few a week um, but what I'm going to do is just do um, one section uh, a week I will try and put them up for, for a Tuesday um, so due day, <laughs> if you're watching, <laughs> hopefully they'll be up on a Tuesday. Um, yes, Judy, uh, Judy couldn't wait <laughs> for part four. Um, she did send me a message saying, and she was very excited. So I did end up putting um, part four on a few few days earlier because um, I think there was a few itchy itchy fingers wanting to wanting to carry on um, and I know myself when I'm following a tutorial you're kind of like well, what's next what's next um, so yeah I'll put it up a little bit earlier but um, yeah I obviously I didn't planned on um, you know following um, Izzy's tutorial because my filming schedule is pretty uh, pretty full so uh, poor Dee Dee's pockets and Tina's mass makes. I keep having to push them because I've got quite a few filmed, but I keep having to push them further back and further back. Um, why I'm doing some some new things. So they're filmed ready, uh, and it's waste of time putting more than um, one up at a time because. Obviously, people haven't got forever have they, to keep keep watching everything. Oh, I like thoughts. That would be quite nice for the beginning of the book. Or become. So we don't know what it's going to become, do we? I've already put a remember. Enjoy. And I do... Oh, that journal. That's nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for that. So I'll just ink around. No, I'm not. I'm going to go for um, Become. I, I really like that. I think, was that the second choice of um, when I did the back? It must be because it's already inked up. So, yeah, I obviously like that. It's the it's the promise, isn't it, of of what it's gonna uh, become. So that's what I enjoyed so much about doing uh, the altered uh, book. It was it was a bit of a journey. Um, and thank you very much, everybody who who watched it. I so really enjoyed it, and I will do one um, later on in the year. I'm actually thinking of later on in the year. I might make a planner. Uh, one for myself uh, to use you know for the following year so I thought that'd be exciting so I'm happy with that I don't think it needs 
anything else on it. So let's have a think about about this. I think I'm just going to uh, pop some ink over it because <laughs> the whiteness around is kind of uh, putting me off. <laughs> That's all I can see when I see it, the, the whiteness. I think that's probably why I do like to, to ink. It's it's just too stark for for my eyes. But um yeah, I mean I don't I don't like bright colours and stuff. I'm really into the muted um colours. And I'm enjoying the still doing the botanicals but doing it in in other colors it's, it's very nice i really like that just on its own you know i think it probably just needs a bit of something else but i don't think it needs um a lot i don't think i'm gonna want a word on there i mean when it's off you think oh well, this is all quite quite empty but I mean, maybe it wants something there um what about just a little bit of script stamping um that'd probably be <coughs> be nice it would just fill fill the space in so I'll just and I'm gonna do it in in the distressing so it's not um too much there just to okay, okay. <laughs> just to fill in that that space let's get some uh, tops on I'm gonna need one open aren't I I think I like that bird right right there it seems as if tree branches coming coming out of it so yeah i'm going to pop that there um i don't know if i might want a label i might want a, a word we'll see i'm not big on words um and it's funny because i do watch um is his collaging um she does a daily on instagram and she films some of them for for youtube and um, I think she puts a word on, on all of them. Um, and I always think, oh, that's brilliant. It just seems to finish it finish it off. But, um, yeah, yeah, I don't tend to, to use them. I know Alison from Crafty Alley Creates, she uses lots of, lots of words. Oh, listen to that. <laughs> I love it. So that's that. Um, let's pick and put that script back. Um, what was I going to say? Let's pick the journal card. I threw them over here for some reason. So I want to kind and enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I like these words in this kit. Very nice. Uh, some kits I find the words are, I can only use words if if I like them um, and they've got to, to mean something to me otherwise I don't want to use them I don't know if that's just just me or <laughs> what but so yeah I'm about a bit funny a bit funny about words I suppose um, in you know in real life and stuff I'm, I'm not that much of a gushy person and if I say something <coughs> you know I really really mean it um so yeah yeah I like that in there I don't know if they could just be a bit more casual <laughs> it was very upright come on let's just be more casual no, I don't want some casual. <laughs> Do I just want one? I could have really done with a journal card, couldn't I? Couldn't I? I think. Well, for now, we'll, we'll pop these in. Okay. So let's back to this page. Let's um, let's have a look at some words. <laughs> I 
I've had these about nearly two years. And a gracious smile from thee. I like that. Small contributions. Oh, I like that. And the colour goes lovely. Yeah, I do like that. Shall we do it? <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember how sticky these are if you need glue or if they're pretty. Pretty God. I don't fancy inking it. I think it might need a little bit of glue on. Perhaps they have dried up a little bit. Like I say, I'll, how about you? I could have even had them over two years. Small contributions. Yeah. I think as we go on as well, it will get really interesting because you're going to start then seeing um, all the layers in it. I mean, I've never done anything like this, so it's quite quite exciting i am liking that it's gonna be yeah right i think for me that's that's enough on there so i'm gonna put this to on one side and we're gonna do the the journal card so i'm a bit keen to use up some of these um these pieces what are already um ripped up so Use the nail tool. I can't remember who said. I think it was Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. She says she loves my nail tool. <laughs> oh dear. Her, her nails would probably go through the, the paper because I've, I've not got very good, good nails at all. Right, so we can pop that on there. I'm going to use the, um, the fabric type because it's, it's a shiny surface and I do think this sticks better. Not put any mat down, I am naughty. Right, pop that there. And save those and I think I might use some of the music paper. This is what was uh, printed on the the newsprint so, and that'll just give us give us this base so I'm gonna glue where I want it and then I can cut cut the rest off I'm thinking if I'll, I'll have a nice botanical for this one because obviously we've got two two birds. Really into birds at the minute. I mean, I've, I love birds anyway. So I do love watching them <coughs> out the window um, when Ryan was off last week he did a bit more moving of plants around and and things and um he had to move a tree at the side of where the decking is for the pond because he's gonna have a shed up there um and he's moved it behind my birdhouse so now there is like two trees around the bird i said bird house didn't i bird table um and i've noticed we seem to well we we actually had goldfinches on um in the trees um and they normally pass um but they don't I've never seen them as close uh, to the house so I'm thinking that um next door's got a big tree and they normally sit in there so uh yeah it's been a good move uh putting putting that there so yeah, we've had a lot more bird action. I, every time I see a bird, I'm like, oh, I'm so glad you've moved that tree there. So I think next year I'm going to have a bird bath um, out there. And because I don't get out walking uh, like I used to and that, it's, it's very, very nice. 
because we used to sit in the car a lot. Um, you know, we used to go to national parks and, um, oh, not stately homes, like, you know, these big houses where I've got gardens and, like, national, oh, I forget what it's called, but, um, yeah, and they'd have, like, car parks in the wood and things and we'd sit with this flask <laughs> and um, there always used to be, like, bird feeders. Uh, near the car park, so you'd that's where you know all the birds would, would congregate. Oh, I like that. <coughs> right, let's have a look um, at botanicals. Now, these I mean, a forget me not would be beautiful, but there's far too much white in them. I don't know what they'd look like cut, cut down a little bit. Um, but I don't think that I've got any other um, blue botanicals. I did cut these out the other, the other night. I wonder if I could get a bit closer um, to that. Cut it down a bit. That's nice. I'm going to pause and, and see if I can cut this out um, a little bit closer. Otherwise, I don't know if I've got any uh, big big butterflies. I think, I think I'm ready to have um, a cutting, cutting out session. Oh, that's nice in the green. Oh, I like that. Hmm. <laughs> That's cute. It's a bit too big inside there, like. Eh? So I did, did like that. But I don't think they're both going to go. Oh, I really do like that. I feel that that goes <coughs> um, with it a lot better, but I don't know what, what else I would... Uh, put there. Hmm. Let's um just in case it's stupid do things up. Wonder about um, a botanical sticker because that will then more fade into into the background. Well, I'm going to be getting everything out on film these. <laughs> and say so it's a bit hard to know what you want until until you want it. Keep being drawn to these purple. Enough is that? I like that there. What does it look like on the music? I really like the butterfly on that side. Hmm, it's not really working, is that? That butterfly's got to be like that for some reason. Oh, 
Oh, I like that. Yes, I do like that. I like the colours. So, very vintage <coughs> looking. So, let's put these away. Um, do we, I'm just thinking, do we want... Um, Got these um, empty botanical plates from um, Nanine College type. I'm wondering because you're obviously going to be able to see through it. I don't think that's the right shape, is it? But I do kind of like the idea of um, something being in the back. That's um, another look that's the same shape you know like that kind of thing well I think these are from that set as well they are I'll keep these out oh look at that that's lovely No, I'm not, not keen on that shade behind it, <clears throat> but yeah, I will keep those, keep those out. Drift just a label in general. Can you see? Or I feel like there's a big, <coughs> a big shadow. Just looks like three separate pieces. You know, I've gone off that butterfly because I'm really liking <laughs> that. But it, it's it's not it's not enough. It's a funny label. I don't. I'm not sure who that's off. Yeah, all right, one K. I'll have to cut them down. That's a Tina. It's very nice as well. I wonder if I could find <coughs> another butterfly. It's it funny art. I liked him for a long time and then I just suddenly went off him. <laughs> oh, it's a bit big, but. Oh, I've got two there. Where, where was that other label that I really liked? That's a Tina one as well. I wonder if they would go on, see they think they go on that side better. Hmm, I'm not sure how I feel. Same, aren't they? <laughs> See, that one might have been lovely, but again, it's <clears throat> it's too big. Oh, he's only got one thing. Have I just tried that one and said it's too big, or is this another one? Hmm. It's not too big. The card is it's too small. It's it's a very small space to. Oh yes, 
yeah that's the one i need to <coughs> cut round its um antennae a little bit better but yeah i think color wise that's that's spot on so don't need those don't need those all right so first i'm gonna oh i can't believe i've left my lid off that that amount of time i'll need re-inking again won't they i don't think i put enough ink on the ink <laughs> the ink pads um i'd got some re-inker and i filled the thing up once and put it on but since then i'm sure i've heard somebody say you need you need to fill it either two or three times to, to re-ink it properly. So maybe I need to put a bit more on. It's fine for the moment, but... It's probably not quite as juicy as I was expecting. Right, let's... <coughs> let's um, so... I think I want... So if we just do it above that three. Okay. So if you're following along, you'll have to uh, let me know how you're getting on. I know a few of you have said... There's obviously Judy's following along. I think uh, Sherry said she was uh, following along. I know Colette's doing it. Um, I'm sure there was a few more of you that that said she was doing it. I so say you're more than welcome to tag me on Instagram, or if you're not on Instagram, you can always um, email me a photo. I'm going to say some people do. Do email. Right, okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go over that lightly. In fact, let me just gonna go over it. Find if you rub it right in, it does seem to make it just disappear just a little bit more. I don't know if it's just me that I'm thinking that or, or, if, it's, or if it's a fact <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> right I'm just going to dub 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 yeah that's not bad I've inked all around it haven't I yeah right let's um, let's give this butterfly a little bit of a yeah I like that Oh, it would be nice just sitting once a week and <clears throat> just doing a bit of collage. I mean, I love watching uh, people just collage and I don't mind all the um, I'm having to find things and, and stuff because it is, you can't be prepared for it unless you've got absolutely, you know, everything, everything out. Which is, you know, you, you just can't. And so start off with a, an idea and kind of get things out. But, um, yeah, often doesn't doesn't go that way. Um, and if you only used what you got out, I, I don't think you'd be able to be that creative. Um, I, I do find collages are very in the moment. And I think sometimes, you know, I could think today this way it's lovely and another day I, I might not think that. Um, I do feel like it's a how you're feeling. So I'm feeling quite tired today. So I'm wondering if that's why I've gone <coughs> uh, quite dark. Um, so, yeah... I, I, I'm actually going to start taking notice of that to see to see if that does um, have an effect. That's quite interesting. Because I already think it's interesting how 
people are attracted to, to different colours. Um, oh, yes. Right. So let's think about how we're positioning it. So I do like that because it's, it's you know, touching both of them. It's, you know, part of it's part of the picture. But I quite like it. It could only go as far up as, as there. No, I like it there. So it's going down. It's going down. So yeah, I hope you do do enjoy it, if, even if you're not uh, doing one. I know a few people have said that when they've finished the current projects and stuff, they're going to give it a go. Um, I definitely want to do it again. Like I say, I'm going to start saving some uh, bigger envelopes. And I kind of like the thought of um, doing a book, what's got, say, I don't know, three envelopes then some paper and then three envelopes so you've got you know proper writing uh space in there too i know you're going to have all the tags uh to be able to write on which again that is nice because if you're doing something like gratitude or that kind of thing um it fits on um you know really well so let's let's have a have a look do love that. And um, I think I'm definitely going to do that where I put some material over it um, and just have this coming coming out. But um, I'll wait until the, till the book's done, I think. So we open it. We've got this. I'm quite happy with this. Got that. And then that goes... Oh, let's just glue that down. And that slips in there. <laughs> oh, I love that. So yeah, I'm I'm really happy with that. So next time it will be um this double spread and then we've got a big tag um here. So that will be uh next time. So thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to now clean my well, tidy my table up. Um, and like I say, I will try and uh, get them to go, go up on a on a Tuesday. Um, and I'll just put them up every week until until it's done, like I did with the altar book. I can't see us getting any more than, you know, a spread and a tag done um, in the kind of 45 minute. And I, I do find 45 minutes is... For me watching, I, I like 45 minute videos, I, I don't know why, an hour can seem a bit a bit too long, um, but yeah, if there was only half an hour I wouldn't get anything, anything done. So thanks for joining me and I shall see you in the next video, bye for now.